Good morning, students. Welcome to our biology classroom. Today we will do. We will just start and try to understand the last two phylum of this animal kingdom, that is phylum Chordata. As the name is indicating, this phylum is marked by the presence of a structure that is called as the notochord. So to start with, phylum Chordata. And in this phylum Chordata, we have got three subphylums. Phylum has got three subphylums: Eurochordata, Cephalochordata, and Vertebrata. So today our objective is to enlist the characters of phylum Chordata and to classify chordates into the respective subphyla. So to start with again, phylum Chordata. As the name is indicating, we have done earlier also that animals are divided into two major groups depending upon the presence of a structure that is present on the dorsal side of the organism. That structure is called as the notochord. So notochord, if is present in the embryonic life or in the adult life of an organism then the organism is said to be chordate notochord is the name of the element now the notochord is bounded on the upper side by the nerve cord and on the lower side by means of the elementary canal so this is the mouth of the elementary canal and this is the Anus of the elementary canal. So, Aj, the first objective of our study is to enlist the characters. Very important, my dear students. Enlist the characters of phylum Chordata. So, you have to keep in your mind there is presence of dorsal notochord. Notochord is a vacuolated rod like structure that is present in the, these organisms, chordates, on the dorsal side. Then there is the presence of gill slits in the region of the pharynx if the embryonic stages or the adult one shows gill slits. Then again the organism is chordate. The presence of ventral heart. The heart is ventral in position. It is present on the ventral side of the organism. If this character is this, there, then it is chordate. The presence of the dorsal nerve cord. For example, the spinal cord in our body is present in the dorsal position. So we are chordates. And the presence of a post-anal tail. Beyond anus, there is an extension of the body that is called as the post-anal tail. So if these five characters are present in any organism, these five characters, if they are present in any organism, then that organism is said to be chordate. So, again, a quick revision, the presence of the dorsal notochord, the presence of the dorsal nerve cord, the presence of gill slits. Gill slits, these are such type of the structure which are present in the pharyngeal region of the organisms, gill slits. And the presence of a post-anal tail. This is the position of anus. And if an extension is there, tail-like, post-anal tail, then again the organism is said to be chordate. So depending upon what is the fate of the notochord, what happens to the notochord in an organism, we have divided chordata into three subphylums. Three subphylums. Number one is called as urochordata. So here the word euro means tail. If the organism is such that that the larval stage, larval stage is having the tail and the notochord is restricted towards the tail region only. I repeat the thing that if the organism is such that the larval stage, the larval stage has got the notochord and that is restricted only towards the tail region. Euro means tail. Then the organism is called urochordata. Now in these organisms there is a 
phenomena that is called retrogressive metamorphosis when they change into the adult these organism when they change into the adult adult has such type of the forms in these organisms they have got two openings in their body and there is a foot and they settle on the rocks etc in the sea water so if when the organism the larval changes into the adult adult then the tail is shed the tail is broken down and with the shedding of the tail the character of the notochord is also lost so that in adult the notochord is absent so such type of pattern showing the organisms are called as the neurochordate since the larva is more advanced such type of metamorphosis that is the change from the larval to adult stage is called retrogressive there is progressive also in which the adult is more advanced but in this case since the larva is more advanced it has got notochord it has got tail but the adult does not have these two character such type of metamorphosis is called retrogressive metamorphosis so the best example of this is hertimania they are very fabulous organism we have just posted the video of that also they are purse like or they are also called as the tunicates sac like structure they have got two openings in their body for they are called siphons these openings are called siphons for the entrance and exit of the water the second group is called as cephalo cordita cephalo cord data so these organisms as the name is indicating they have got the suppose the organisms form is like this they have got this notochord on the dorsal side running from anterior region to the posterior region and this notochord persists throughout the life it is present as an embryonic character and it remains as such in the rest of the adult life also it persists throughout the life of the organism itself so cephalo means head region head regions contain this notochord and it extends towards the posterior portion and it remains as such does not happen does not undergo further development so these organisms are called as the cephalochordates the best example of this is amphioxus amphioxus is the best example of these type of the organism they have got the oral uh, hood type structure and then sensory cirri oral cirri etc and these organisms they have got the notochord as such throughout their life so such organisms are called as the cephalochordate but the most advanced of all are vertebrata cephalon vertebrata as the name is indicating these in these organisms the notochord is there but this notochord it changes into backbone or we can say that vertebral column in the adult form so in the adult or in the after the development the embryo contains the notochord but after the development this structure changes into vertebral column so if this character is there in the organism then it is called as the vertebrata so from cyclostomes there is a group up to human beings up to mammals all the organisms belong to this group that is called as vertebrata so in our last video we will do the explanation or the detail of the vertebrata again the notochord changes into the vertebral column that's why they are called as the vertebrata so if it is notochord is up to the tail region neurochordata it persists throughout the life as the notochord nothing happened to it then cephalochordata and if it changes into vertebral column then the group is called as the vertebrata so my dear the organ uh, or these organisms they are very important because they are representing 
link between the non chordates and the chordates this is the transitional phase that they are representing about the fate of the notochord so please just keep in your mind the list of the chordate characters if it comes that what are the chordate characters in your body then this is the list and how the chordata has been divided into further subphylums this is the classification so please revise it very thoroughly Thank you.